What's going on guys? This is going to be a very quick video on how I scrape infinite e-commerce leads as much as I want. First and foremost, what you guys want to navigate to is something called storeleads.app. So this is going to be a very good directory to find specifically e-commerce companies. So I mean, you can look over here, there's a bunch of e-commerce, uh, literally birdies, that's one of our clients' it's clients. Um, but essentially, um, there's going to be 13 million four hundred around 13 million e-commerce stores, right? You're, you're gonna have nothing short of e-commerce data here. So you can make a free account, by the way, you don't actually have to pay them. If you go to pricing here, it's it's not the cheapest, right? You can get these leads for really, really cheap. So um, don't tell them I told you guys that, but essentially go to dashboard, right? Once you make an account, just go to dashboard. We're gonna do like a mock lead list for you guys, just so you guys can see on a high level how it works. But for example, right? You wanna talk to people using Shopify or WooCommerce or whatever you wanna be using, right? There's gonna be categories, so go to categories. Let's say of the e-commerce brands you wanna to talk to, you wanna to talk to, I don't know, um, let's just do apparel. And then there's gonna be more subcategories that pop up so you can see how granular you can get with this. Let's say you specifically wanna to talk to footwear, right? Footwear companies, brands or whatnot. Um, let's say you wanna to talk to, there's more by the way, sports, There's team sport like there's so so many subcategories you can go into it's a little bit ridiculous right but let's say you you don't want to talk to the biggest e-commerce companies in the whole world right you want to talk to the smaller ones middle to middle to smaller mac uh smaller markets you can talk to 10 24 or let's just say let's just do a little bigger um we'll do uh, we'll do 25 20 uh, to 49 um, you probably want to talk to ones in the United States country if you wanted to region, right? It depends on which, you know, it doesn't really matter too much. But if you want to talk to specifically one in the United States, Northern America, you can do that. Um, there's also going to be the technologies one, which which we actually use decently amount for marketing agencies ourselves. So, for example, right, let's say you are a social media marketing agency, right? Um, you literally run meta ads, right? Facebook, uh, you know, Facebook, Instagram. You can find people who currently are using the Facebook pixel on their actual um what's it called on their actual landing page because you know it's, it's like a technology that's inserted the pixels and html on their landing page right you can find those people here you can find any softwares here like google ads too as well there's many different many different types even social logins um whatnot but once you have that list right you've already done the filtering one thing though before we move on i would not recommend using estimated sales so keep in mind you're talking to a bunch of privately owned companies right it's not going to be like the entirely the truth about how much money they're making they say it's estimated because it is you know by nature an estimation it's not like a publicly company so um you want to do employee count to estimate their sales right um so what we're going to do next is once we have every every filter we want we take this link right here right we want to copy it down right and then next step you're going to go to somewhere called appify.com so appify.com has a scraper for every single thing you'll ever need right um again they're really cheap too as well so for store leads right we want to find a scraper for specifically store leads you want to look up store leads and it should be the first one there's only one i believe yeah this one so we don't use a scraper anymore just because we have our own scraper um so you know we, we don't use this but if it's a, if you guys are not our clients right you can you guys can use something like this you can try for free um, and then let's see, give it a moment. And then what you're gonna do, right, once you're on the screen, so I'm gonna actually delete everything here just so you guys can see me do it from the very scratch, right? What you're gonna do is you wanna paste the link into here, right? Now, before we move on, right, page limit, leave it optional unless you just only want the first page, which you don't need to. You can scrape as many as you want, right? Another thing that we need, even though it says optional, it's not optional. You actually need this. Um, we need to get the cookies on your actual computer, right? What it's going to do is um, what you're going to do is go to edit this cookie version three on Google Chrome, right? Or just Chrome app, web app store, whatever it's called, right? We already have it, but you're just going to get it again. It's free. It's very cheap to get, right? You want to navigate back to here. What you want to do is go to your extensions, edit this cookie. And then what you're going to do is click this button right here. So don't touch anything else. Click this button right here. It says export. We want to export it and it says copy to clipboard, right? What you're going to do now is you want to paste it into here. Make sure there's nothing here. Not even like sometimes if it's a default, you guys might have this, right? Don't put that in there. Delete all of that. Delete everything, right? Paste it into there, right? You should be now good to go. And then you want to do save and start. So 
I'm going to pause the video now while scraping. Afterwards, once it's done, I'm going to show you a side-by-side -side data comparison to see how accurate it is, right? It's 100% accurate. There's no concern there, but I'll just show you guys just in case you guys want to know. But anyways. All right, guys, now that that scrape is done, as you can see, we only got 50 results. But, you know, again, we are not using the scraper, right? We are not paying for the scraper anymore, but you guys can pay for this. It's really cheap. It's like $30 a month. You can get as much data as you want, I believe. So we're only going to get 50. That's all because that's all we can hold. But this is just an example, right? What we're going to do is once we have the scrape, right, we want to export it into a CSV file. Leave this blank. Leave this blank. You want to download it, right? What's gonna happen next is you want to navigate to pretty much just open up a sheet, any type of sheet, whether you use Google or Excel, right? You want to import the actual lead list into here. Replace spreadsheet. So this right here is going to be the company list. So keep in mind, store leads is not going to give you their contact information. You can, but Apollo is more accurate with it. So what you're going to do is you want to verify, make sure that you, the, all of the, the company websites or company web names are all lining up, right? So this first one is Wolf and Shepherd, which go back here, Wolf and Shepherd, right? This one is uh, uh, Beckett, Simon, Simonon, whatever they call themselves, right? This is right there, C's, CVs, right? Um, over here should be one. So it's very accurate. If you scroll down, it's like about a 50, uh, 50 leads, 51, right? 51 companies. The only thing that you guys will need here is ignore all of this other data. There's going to be a bunch, right? The, don't get clouded. The only thing you'll need is this one, domain. Go to domain. You want to go to the bottom, right? You want to copy it down. So there's going to be 50 leads here exactly. Once you have this, once you copy it down, go to somewhere called Apollo.io. So Apollo.io, again, right? It's really good at finding people's contact information, but really, really bad at categorizing specifically which company types you want to go after if you go through industry and keywords, right? If you go through industry and keywords, it's going to be like, you can look up e-commerce, but you're going to get like a marketing agency that only wants mark that only wants e-commerce brands as clients. You're going to go after like a private equity firm that only buys up these, these um, what's it called, these e-commerce brands. So that's why we use store leads like for something like this, right? You're going to go to company. You want to go to include exclude list of companies. You want to paste the websites into here, right? You want to save and search. So what we can do now, so as you can see, it's 50 domains. We literally just took down 50 domains, right? All right, collapse that, uh, just pretty much decrease that screen right there. And then what you're going to do is not do most of this. So keep in mind on store leads, we already have the keywords as apparel and footwear in the industry of e-commerce. So don't put anything here. Don't double filter, right? If you already put account location as in the company location, which we didn't do, but if you do it here on country, right? Don't put it into account location. If you already did employee count, which we already did, which is 29 to 49, right? Do not put it into here. So whatever you already did in store leads, don't do it here. If you didn't do it in the store leads, do it here, right? But once you put it into that box, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find people. Then I might have to take away some filters here just so, yeah, I'll just re-show you guys this. Um, decrease that, take this away as well. And then what you're gonna do, number one, most importantly, Go to email status. You want to click on verified for everything else. Just ignore it. And then go to job titles. What you're going to do is, I don't know, you probably want to talk to only uh, decision makers and get back, get past the gatekeepers. So CEO, right? Founder, um, I don't know, like owner. And then we can do um, CMO if it's you're, you're doing marketing, right? CFO if you're finance related. COO, honestly, it's good to get the entire C-suite, to be honest. Um, sometimes they call themselves the co-founder, right? Sometimes they call themselves the co-owner, right? Sometimes they're called president instead of CEO, right? Um, sometimes they'll call themselves principal, but that's mostly been finance. Sometimes they call themselves, I don't know, oh, chair, right? You want to talk to anyone on chair, right? Chairman, stuff like that. Chairman, chairwoman. Um, sometimes they call themselves board, right? But you want to, you want to talk to a board member, maybe head of anything, um, head of marketing, stuff like that. Marketing, um, growth, operations, they're all good. Um, director, stuff like that. But again, this is just for the purpose of this video. Um, I'll just put that search in right there. So you can see 190, uh, 69 people, right? So these are all chairwoman, literally chairwoman right there. COO, CO, CFO, chief marketing officer, stuff like that. 
once you have that, right, again, we don't need to apply anything here. We just simply take this link, copy it down, right? What you're now going to do is go to somewhere called Export Apollo. So I'll just do a new, completely new one. Again, we don't use them anymore just because we have our own scraper for it. But if you guys are, not, you know, not our clients, you guys can use something like this. So just for a quick math real quick, 1,000 leads, you're going to get it for $1.50, right? You go through Apollo to get 1,000 leads, it's going to be costing 10 times, 100 times more than that. So that's why you can honestly just start a free trial with Apollo. You don't need to pay them. You don't even need to enter, enter, enter your credit card. You literally just start a free trial by clicking a few buttons, right? Take the link that you already have. You go to somewhere like this, third party for really cheap. You go to under your name, right? That's not my phone number, so you know, don't text me. But put in your email right there, right? Next, right here. And then take away that link. If it's already, that, the link is there because of our old link, right? You paste the link into here that you just copied from Apollo, not story, it's from Apollo. And then you want to enter in how much you want to talk to, right? So let's say you actually are paying for Appify, right? Um, you can scrape up to, you know, as many as you want. Let's say the lead list that you saw here was 10,000 people, right? Then you want to put, 10,000, right? And then you want to put in the tag. So email verification, just click yes to this because, um, or otherwise you're going to have to go to somewhere like Million Verifier and do it yourself. The reality is when you go through Apollo and you click on verified, it's only still going to be 60 to 70% actually verified email addresses. So just click this yes, right? That way you can just have a very smooth lead list, right? Um, no referral code, but essentially what you're going to do is think about it, right? You're going to get 10 K worth of leads verified for $60, right? That's going to be a lot more. It's going to be a lot cheaper than if you actually went through Apollo. So much more value there, right? What you want to do is click submit. I'm not going to click submit because again, we don't use them anymore. But even if it's like 1000 leads, it's like seven bucks. It's so cheap. But uh, that's essentially it. What's going to happen next is once you submit it, you're going to get an email um, from this team right here from Export Apollo with all your leads in the CSP, right? Very simple. Thanks, guys.